All right, good afternoon. Um, may I start? Thank you. All right, good afternoon. Uh, just to start with a programming note, the President of the Security Council for the month of August, um, Ambassador Abulata of Egypt, was scheduled to brief you this afternoon, uh, but that has now been moved to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, in this room will be the start of the presidency uh, press briefing. Um, and in a short while, I will be joined by video link by the UNDP country director for Yemen, Auk Lutzma, who will brief you on the situation in Yemen. The Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations, Jean-Pierre Lacroix, arrived in South Sudan today in Juba. He met with senior government officials, including the first Vice President, Taban Deng. They discussed issues related to security and the peace process, including the importance of the initiative of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development on the revitalization of the implementation of the peace agreement to advance efforts to bring peace and stability to South Sudan. He stressed that fighting should end, for this peace, should end for this peace process to have a better chance and that the credibility of the national dialogue rests on the inclusiveness and transparency. Mr. Lacroix also called on the, for the expeditious deployment of the Regional Protection Force and noted he was looking forward to further support from the government to facilitate its deployment. Tomorrow, he's expected to meet with uh, President Salva Kiir and to visit the UN base in Malakal, where the UN mission protects over 30,500 internally displaced people in a protection of civilian site. And turning to Somalia, the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says there's been an alarming increase in the number of suspected measles cases. 13,428 cases have been reported so far this year compared to the 5,000 to 10,000 total of cases per year since 2014. OCHA says the displacement caused by the ongoing drought is worsening the situation and exacerbating the uh, spread of the disease. The agency is planning to uh, a nationwide emergency mass measles campaign targeting children under 10 years of age said, and said that some $14 million will be required to support the campaign. And I was asked yesterday about Raqqa, I think it was you, Oleg, and our colleagues of the World Food Program tell us that in July they reached nearly 200,000 people affected by the violence in Raqqa, as well as people in neighboring governorates of Derizor and Hasake. WFP also reached 200,000 people in June when land access became possible. In June and July, more than 140 trucks carrying UN and Red uh, Red Crescent uh, items via newly opened road between Aleppo and Hasake. And regarding land access, WFP negotiates with the authorities to ensure food and other humanitarian assistance reaches the people who need it most. WFP has two local partners who carry out the distribution of food in those areas. And uh, here in uh, New York, the intergenerational dialogues on the sustainable development goals got underway this morning. In a video message, the Secretary General told participants that youth and older persons are key to achieving the SDGs and encouraged them to help break the cycles of poverty that has lasted for generations and trigger transform transformational change that endures for generations to come. The event is co-hosted by the Department of Public Information, the NGO DPI Executive Committee, and seeks to raise awareness on the value that youth and older persons can bring to the SDGs. And a new report by our colleagues at UNICEF and the World Health, uh, World Health Organization says no country in the world fully meets the recommended standards for breastfeeding. The Global Breastfeeding Scorecard, which evaluates 194 nations, found that only 40% of the children younger than six months are breastfed uh, exclusively and only 23% of countries have exclusive breastfeeding rates above 60%. Um, evidence shows that breastfeeding is especially critical during the first six months of life, helping prevent diarrhea and pneumonia, two major causes of death in infants. In addition, mothers who breastfeed have reduced risks of ovarian and breast cancer. More information online. And um, I will stop here until we turn to our colleague in Yemen who has been very patient, Ms. Nichols. Thanks, Steph. Um, does the Secretary General have any comment on the latest developments in Venezuela? 
please. Um, yes, of course. The, the Secretary General has been following very closely uh, the recent developments in Venezuela. He's taken note of the decision by the judicial system to revoke the house arrest of the opposition leaders who were detained yesterday, Leopoldo Lopez and Antonio uh, Ledzema. The Secretary General is concerned that an escalation of political tensions will distance the country from a path conducive to finding peaceful solution to the country's challenges. In this critical moment for the future of the country, the Secretary General urges all Venezuelans, particularly those representing uh, state powers of the state, to make all possible efforts to lower tensions, prevent further violence and loss of life, as well as find avenues for political dialogue. The Secretary General reiterates his firm belief that a political negotiation is urgently needed between the government and the opposition. He is convinced that the only way forward is a political solution. The Secretary General acknowledges the efforts of the international facilitators and regional leaders who have supported the Venezuelan government and the opposition trying to reach an agreement. The Secretary General reiterates his full support for these efforts. Yeah, Edie, and, yeah, go ahead. Thanks, Steph. Um, that statement actually didn't address the um, decision to take these two opposition leaders back to uh, prison from house arrest. What's, what is the Secretary General's I think, as I said, the Secretary General's taken note of that, uh, of that decision. I think his overall uh, message is one of uh, concern for the increase of uh, political tensions um, and the country moving away from a, uh, from a path uh, to finding a peaceful solution. I would also refer you to uh, the statements made earlier by the High Commissioner for Human Rights in which um, he expressed his deep concern at the, um, at the detention of these two. Luke. Following the same line of questioning, there was no mention in the statement you just read nor the one yesterday about the elections themselves, mm -hmm. just about the violence that surrounded them. Mm -hmm. What is the UN's thinking on these I elections? will leave it at that for the time being. Yes, ma'am. Follow up. The U.S. sanctioned uh, the Venezuelan uh, president, Mr. Maduro, calling him a dictator. Does the Secretary General share the U.S.'s view of Nicolas Maduro? Uh, it's not for the Secretary General to uh, to comment on, on, on what was said out of the U.S. government uh, yesterday. I think for the Secretary General, his focus is on uh, working with uh, the mediators uh, and those who are working towards bringing the opposition and the government uh, back towards a political solution. These are Is the Secretary General considering sending a mediator from the United Nations to settle the situation? I think right there? now the, the, the Secretary General is supporting the efforts of the international facilitators as well as regional efforts. The questions on Saudi Arabia. There are uh, very severe clashes, very, very uh, harsh clashes in eastern province, in Awamiya and other neighboring towns and villages. The army is burning whole areas, as we've seen some some videos. How does the United Nations deal with deal? I with don't have anything on uh, that situation. I will look into it. <laughs> Masuji. Thank you, sir. So so do you have any, the Secretary General, have any uh, thing to say about the recent upsurge in unrest in Kashmir, which happened in, especially today. I think we will, uh, I would refer you to what we've said in the past on the situation in Kashmir. Okay. Mr. Lee. Sure, I wanted to ask you, in the, in the run-up to the elections in Kenya, uh, the, the head of the electronic voting, Chris Masanda, has been murdered. And I wanted to know, what is the UN, uh, various countries have expressed concern, offered to send investigators. Has the resident coordinator, has anyone in the UN system, what do they think of this murder well, of Obviously, I think official? it's, it's, it's uh, the fact that a member of the Electoral Commission uh, was murdered in what appears to be such a gruesome way is, is shocking and can only be condemned. Uh, we hope that the perpetrators are found uh, in, and, 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 brought, uh, and brought to justice. I think Kenya is entering a very... Uh, obviously a very delicate period with the, with the upcoming uh, elections, and the sec we would not want to see any increase or violence or disturbance. Can you say what, or 
the, what the UN's role, does it have any, any role? In, I know that there was somebody who used to work at DPA who is now working on the elections as a Kenyan national, but is there a, is there a UN I can electoral check. role? I'm not, uh, I'm not aware of any role, but I'm happy to check. Yeah. On Venezuela again, does the SG think that this situation could be, uh, could merit to be treated by the Security Council? And does he plan I think to that's up to, to Security Council members. He's not planning to bring it Not to that the I'm aware of, yep. Uh, do you have any reaction to this new Chinese initiative for Middle East peace? Uh, no, not no reaction in detail. I think the the Secretary General's own position has been outlined uh, very publicly on on the way forward for the peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Mr. Klein. Yes, the uh, Secretary General has um, spoken out in the past about um, fostering a more stable. Uh, funding base for UNRWA, um, finding innovative ways to uh, mm -hmm. stabilize, have more continuity, et cetera. Um, does he favor um, the proposal in the General Assembly, which uh, I, I believe has been postponed but still um, is being considered, uh, to increase the amount of the assessments in the UN regular budget that would be allocated to UNRWA funding as opposed to that's voluntary a, that's contributions. A, uh, that's a decision by, by the member states. I, I'm not going to comment on the particular uh, resolution. As a matter of principle, I think we would like to see more predictable uh, but, funding for the UN's uh, but, but, humanitarian work. I mean, I think we see how we have to, to appeal on, on a regular basis. We, w we would like to see more regular funding on, as a matter of principle, uh, predictable funding. Well, what, uh, what does that mean uh, in real terms? Because if it's voluntary contributions, it's always going to be uh, based on uh, no, I, budget I priorities it's, it's a, of the it's donors. It's a delicate balance, and I think the, we trust the wisdom of the member states uh, to find that balance. Yeah. Could you give us more detail on the expert report on DOC? The I'm sorry. Re uh, more detail on. Uh, yeah. No. I'm. Uh, hopefully, we'd have. We should have some more information to share with you on that uh, in in the coming days. That is my hope and my wish. Luke, just to follow up on my last question, why why is there no UN statement on the elections in Venezuela? Everything else you've talked about seems rather peripheral. And I, I think the the, the 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 concern of the. The increase in political tension, uh, I don't think, is is peripheral. Uh, there is an ongoing uh, efforts by international mediators. Uh, I think the secretary, I, the secretary general, has been in touch with them on a on a on a regular basis, and he supports their efforts. I just, you know, in I just tallied up in the past ninety days, statements on elections in Liberia, Afghanistan, DRC, the conduct of Algerian elections, South Sudan, Kosovo. I, uh, the UN weighs in on how elections are conducted. I, I think Why the, the the compare and contrast exercises are your purview. Uh, we see uh, we see these situations uh, independently. Mr. Lee, sure. You know, maybe I don't know if this is compare or contrast, but now more than 100 people were let, were arrested in DRC in the in the protests of the the. Yeah. Passing of the time. So I wanted, yesterday you said you didn't have. No, uh, we've uh, obviously uh, the mission is aware of it. Uh, we understand a number of people have been released, and the human rights component of the mission is is monitoring the situation. Okay, and I want to ask something on Cameroon. I, I, last week I'd asked Fairhan about a meeting that was held by Southern Cameroonians with uh, who was supposed to be with Adama Dieng, but it turned out to be with somebody called Mr. Castro. I'd still like to ask for a readout on that. And the reason is now the Paul Bia government has announced they're sending a delegation of three to the UN between August uh, and I guess to Washington. So I wanted to know, I guess, in advance, since given the, the, this issue and what's been, what you've said from the from the podium here, is it possible to know with whom? I mean, I can give you the names of the people no, that are coming, if I, who I can, they're going to meet with, I, and what the. I can I can find out, but obviously, hopefully, they will tell you who they're going to meet with because there are a lot of people that can meet here. But I will check the usual suspects. Masood, Swan, do you have any update on the situation in Yemen? Where that uh, cholera had taken so many lives. Well, Masood, I, I would indulge your your patience. As I said, we will have the UNDP country director, <laughs> the UNDP country director, uh, live by video as soon as I'm done answering your questions. Who will be in a much better place to answer those okay. questions? Uh, can I ask question? You can ask another question, and I'll an try to answer Not, it. No. <laughs> but if you want to answer the other question, that's fine as well. Go okay. ahead. I just want to find out about the situation 
as far as the uh, Palestinian children in the Israeli jail is concerned. I've been asking that question for a long time, and you have not had any updates since uh, I've, January of this year. Uh, I think I've shared updates since then. I, I will see if I have anything else to give you. Nizar. Yeah, well, what role is the United Nations playing in the evacuation of eastern mountains of Lebanon, where uh, Al Nusra Front is due to be evacuated? None, to that, I, none that I'm aware of. None that I'm aware of. Okay. Yes, Linda. Thank you, Steph. Regarding North Korea, um, since tensions have been rising in North Korea, I've apparently has increased its nuclear capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like the Security Council is deadlocked with the U.S. saying they were not going to call a Security Council meeting because they didn't think anything of consequence would result from it. Given that sort of deadlock, do you think at this point there is some kind of role for the Secretary General? You know, I think the, the, the Security Council is having discussions on this, uh, I mean, uh, is, seized, uh, is seized of the matter. The Secretary General has expressed his condemnation of the acts by, uh, uh, by the DPRK. Uh, he remains in touch with uh, various members of, of the Council, and I think we'll, we'll leave it at that for the time, the time being. Yes, sir, and then two kind of little, one is just, in, in the answers you were giving about the Secretary General believes this on Venezuela, thinks this, can I just, given what you've said yesterday about, about his schedule, is this based on, is this a DPA statement? Is it actually something it's, that they run by a, him? How does it work? I, just, it works that it comes out of my mouth. That's how it works. Okay. Next I mean, question. Is it no, next, next question. Okay. The next question is something that I'd emailed you, but I'll ask you now. There was the meeting on Friday between the Secretary General before mm -hmm. he left and Ivanka Trump. And it wasn't on the media alert, mm -hmm. but uh, apparently UN photo was there. Yeah. But then some people noticed that AP was selling the photos from no, the I'm, media. I'm aware of, of the situation with the AP, which is not normal, and uh, we're in touch with them. Can you, are you going to answer like how it happened? Like was money charged? Uh, I, I said it's not normal. We're in touch with them. Obviously, no one is allowed to sell uh, or distribute photos taken by UN photographers without giving proper credit, and no one is allowed to sell those photos. So sure. as I said, we're, we're okay. in touch with them. And why wasn't we it on the go, media alert? Was it, uh, it was a private lunch. 